The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is the Lord even of the Sabbath. The Pharisees are complaining, as we see quite commonly in the Gospels, when our Lord's disciples are violating the Sabbath. And in effect, perhaps they were, at least if you followed the letter of the law. But our Lord points out that it isn't exactly because what the Pharisees were doing is giving too strict an interpretation, as if you could not even lift a finger on the Sabbath, you see. And by picking grain, leaving paths and everything, now they're doing manual labor, supposedly. See, now they would be actually doing something. You're not supposed to do anything. And that's not quite the way it is. And that's the point our Lord makes here when he says, the Sabbath was not made for man. Sorry, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. It was a day given for us to rest. And we need some rest once in a while so that we can continue the work afterwards that we have to do. At the same time, it gives us an opportunity then to dedicate one day, at least one day during the week, to God himself. That we can stop, step aside, and just think on the things of God, on the mysteries of the divine, on what awaits us in the next life. To stop and reflect on these things. That's why our Lord gave us that day of rest, which was always called the Sabbath, what we now call the Lord's Day, Sunday, wherein we also remind ourselves of our Lord's resurrection from the dead and precisely the mystery of the Blessed Trinity. On a day we celebrate one who gave himself to that, was an early Christian martyr, one of the high up soldiers actually in the Roman armies, though the emperors did not know right away that he was Christian, St. Sebastian. And once they did find out he was Christian, he was actually condemned to death, was shot through with arrows and did not die. He was nursed back to health by a widow who came to him, saw him there and nursed him back to health and he went right back to it to preach the truth. Look, I am a Christian. Here, this is the truth. This is the way to salvation for which he was then executed. And thus, we celebrate him as a martyr. But he's one who gave himself to Christ, gave himself to God and sought that not only for himself but for others as well and gave up his life for it. And that is exactly what we need to do to give ourselves back to God. And unless we're willing to set some time aside to do that, to reflect on the very mystery of God himself, how are we going to give ourselves back to him? How are we ever going to show him we love him? Not only should we be doing that once a week on, the, on Sunday, which we are obliged to, and we should be grateful for that. But also, even every day, a little time, silence. Our Lord did it. Our Lord himself did it. would go by, by himself alone on a mountainside somewhere and pray. Our Lord did it. Why should we as well? Even every day, sometime, just to set aside, just to be with God, just to help us to grow in that love for him, that we too will be willing even to give up our lives for him. Praise be Jesus and Mary.